Have you heard about the Atrina? It's a pretty impressive snowmobile that offers some unique features that haven't been seen before. The creators of this vehicle claim that it has two independent frames, the ability to fully control the steering knuckle, and a side roll absorption mechanism. This means that the Atrina is a great all-terrain vehicle that can handle rough and uneven terrain with ease. The Atrina can accelerate up to 31 miles per hour and can carry up to 2,200 pounds of cargo. Two people can fit in the cab, and there's even room for eight more in the back. It's also equipped with living quarters and a heated cab, making it an excellent solution for hunters and fishermen who need to spend long hours in cold conditions. In terms of additional options, there's a winch, a larger fuel tank, and different types of tires to choose from. All of these features do come at a price, though. You'll have to pay about $31,000 for this vehicle, but if you're in need of a powerful and versatile snowmobile, the Atrina is definitely worth considering. What do you think about the Atrina? Do you believe that it offers unique features that set it apart from other snowmobiles on the market? If you're looking for an off-road vehicle that can handle any challenge, the Chainlink Extreme 4x4 is the way to go. This SUV is equipped with independent wheels that offer an impressive 6.6 .6 feet of vertical travel, making it a true off-road monster. The vehicle has air suspension, chain drives, and a 1993 Ford 5.0 V8 engine from a Cobra Mustang, making it a formidable force on any terrain. The 24-inch hydraulic cylinders allow the driver to conquer obstacles that would stop other vehicles in their tracks. With its impressive capabilities, the Chainlink Extreme 4x4 is sure to impress any off-road enthusiast. Have you heard about the Daymac Combat e-bike? If you're a fan of both motorcycles and snowmobiles but can only afford one vehicle, then this might be the perfect product for you. A Canadian company has recently announced this universal vehicle, which is already available for pre-order. In just about an hour, the motorcycle can be transformed into a snowmobile, ski, and even a crawler by replacing the wheels. It's priced at around $15,000, and the first clients already received their hybrids around June 2023. So let's talk about the specs. The Daymac Combat e-bike has a range of 50 miles, a 19-horsepower engine, and can reach a top speed of 44 miles per hour. The creators claim that this vehicle has been tested for three years in the Canadian wilderness and can work in any season and cope with any conditions like snow, mud, and more. They believe that this is the true definition of off-road. What do you think? Would you consider purchasing this unique and versatile vehicle? It's definitely a one-of-a-kind product that offers the best of both worlds for motorcycle and snowmobile enthusiasts. The DS Raider Extra is an off-road scooter designed with versatility in mind. In addition to recreational use, the manufacturer believes this model can serve as a practical tool for farmers, with its capacity to navigate through different types of terrain and weather conditions. Available in several versions, the HD4 is the most advanced with impressive features such as 9.6 inches of ground clearance, a top speed of 28 miles per hour, and the ability to carry up to 441 pounds. A single charge can cover up to 45 miles, and an optional trailer is available. With a price tag of $20,700, the DS Raider Extra is a premium off-road scooter that promises to be an unstoppable and reliable workhorse. What do you think about the potential of using off-road scooters like the DS Raider Extra for agricultural purposes? Introducing the DTV Shredder, a unique crawler vehicle that is built to tackle the toughest off-road terrain. Think of it as a modified Segway with tracks capable of slicing through snow, sand, and mud with ease. With a 14-horsepower engine and a top speed of 30 miles per hour, this monster can jump and handle any challenge that comes its way. Plus, it can tow a trailer and carry up to 1,200 pounds of payload. Some users have even asked if they can attach an ATV snowplow to it. This compact off-road vehicle is definitely not your typical ride, but it sure packs a punch. Have you ever thought that mowing the lawn is a boring and time-consuming task? 
Well, Honda has a solution for you. They've created a lawnmower that can go faster than many cars on the road. The Honda Mean Mower is a unique engineering marvel that set a world speed record for lawnmowers in 2019, reaching an impressive 150.99 miles per hour. This amazing feat was accomplished thanks to the vehicle's powerful 202 horsepower engine, which was borrowed from a Honda Fireblade motorcycle. Despite its impressive speed, the Mean Mower is still capable of cutting grass, thanks to its built in blades and grasshopper. It's a one-of-a-kind vehicle that showcases the power of dreams and the creativity of Honda's engineers. So, if you're looking for a thrilling way to mow your lawn, the Honda Mean Mower might just be the perfect solution for you. What do you think of this wild creation from Honda? Let me tell you about the Kawano K01 Plus, an interesting hybrid between a unicycle and a scooter. It has a unique design that caught the attention of an expert reviewer who called it the strangest thing I've reviewed. This American-made vehicle is targeted at anyone who values compactness but doesn't want to compromise on off-road capabilities. The K01 Plus can travel up to 25 miles on a single battery charge and has a top speed of 12 miles per hour. It weighs 35 pounds and can carry up to 264 pounds. To steer the K01 Plus, you simply lean forward to move forward and lean sideways to turn. The vehicle comes with a choice of tires, including universal off-road wheels or smoother city wheels. All in all, the Kawano K01 Plus is a fascinating and unconventional mode of transportation that could be perfect for urban commuters or off-road enthusiasts. The price tag of $1,300 might seem a bit steep for some, but it's certainly a unique and eye-catching ride that will turn heads wherever you go. What do you think about this innovative vehicle? I have an interesting story about a craftsman from Greece who built a monotrack bike as a thank you gift for his YouTube subscribers. The bike is quite unique and features a 6 cubic inch scooter engine, a crawler made from a car tire, and even a piece of an old diving cylinder. The creator named it Project 0100, and it's designed to provide fun and inspiration. Viewers can even get the blueprints to build their own bike by becoming a Patreon sponsor. Many have commented on the bike's design, likening it to a giant belt sander. What do you think of this unique thank you gift? Have you ever heard of a street luge board? It's a wild summer version of the ice luge competition where skaters race down a steep track lying on their back. The speed can reach up to 102 miles per hour, and riders often use their feet as brakes. This invention, created by American skaters, is similar to downhill skateboarding but requires a lot more courage and balance. Surprisingly, the world speed record for a street luge board is 102 miles per hour. So if you are a fan of extreme sports and are not afraid of speed, this could be the sport for you. Just remember to wear very sturdy shoes. What do you think of this exciting and daring sport? This next vehicle we're looking at is the Vendetta, and it has a unique design that looks like a combination of a skateboard, a snowboard, and a snowmobile. What's surprising is that it's not just a prototype but a production model, and it comes with a price tag of $6,495. For that amount of money, you could get 7 Chinese Chang Li electric cars and still have money left over. But what does the Vendetta offer to riders? According to the description, this vehicle can accelerate up to 31 miles per hour, and one battery charge is enough for about half an hour of use. Weighing in at 43 pounds, you can easily carry it upstairs if needed. Reviews also mention that it can ride over obstacles up to 8 inches high and can handle various surfaces like stairs, sand, soil, and even ice. It's an interesting option for those who want a unique all-terrain vehicle. Have you heard of VUHL05? It's a sports car that's manufactured in Mexico, and it's certified for public roads. The car has some fantastic characteristics, and it's no surprise that it's generating a lot of buzz in the automotive world. The VUHL05 has a powerful 360 horsepower, 
140 cubic inch engine that can accelerate the car up to 155 miles per hour. Despite its impressive speed, the car is lightweight, weighing in at only 1,530 pounds. The car uses an aluminum honeycomb structure and carbon fiber, as well as an aluminum crash box that absorbs impact energy, ensuring the safety of the driver and passengers. The car also comes with 5-point safety belts providing additional safety. One of the great things about the VUHL05 is that you can customize it to suit your needs. Using the configurator on the company's website, you can assemble your own version of the car, choosing from a variety of options, including engine type, color, and interior elements. The price for a customized VUHL05 will be given out on request, but based on information online, you'll need to budget around $85,000. What do you think about the VUHL05? Would you consider purchasing one for yourself? Have you heard about the 4x4 Gladiator Utility Electric Vehicle? It's pretty impressive. The creators of this scooter have really outdone themselves. It has a range of 65 miles on a single charge, can reach a top speed of 30 miles per hour, and comes with all-wheel disc brakes and 12 inches of ground clearance. But that's not all, it also has a 12-inch independent suspension on all wheels, a 60-volt 2.4-kilowatt-hour battery, an optional removable seat and LCD screen, a headlamp, and USB ports for charging gadgets. It's perfect for both on- and off-road adventures. Now, if you're wondering about the price, pre-orderers can get their hands on one for $4,200. It may seem like a lot, but considering all the features it comes with, it's definitely worth it. In fact, the first deliveries have already started from January 2023, so people are already getting their hands on these amazing scooters. What do you think about it? Do you believe it's the best utility electric vehicle out there?